Okay, so I wanted to do this video because I felt it would inspire a lot of you guys and today I'm going to be actually sharing about my shroom trip and this isn't any shroom trip. This is a trip that was the most powerful trip that I've ever done. I have sat down with the plant of mushrooms many times but this one was different and I did not know what was coming for me. I will share this because we are here online and I am not condoning for anyone to be doing these medicines. I am just talking from my experience. Get some snacks, get some tea if you need to pause it here and then go and get some snacks, get comfortable. Um, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, like and subscribe as well as put notification bells because I do videos weekly for you guys and I will be sharing more medicines. I know I am going to be sitting down with Cambo pretty soon. It's my first time sitting down with Cambo medicine. So if you have experienced Cambo and you'd like to share your experience, let me know down below. Um, and I will, I also have an amazing ayahuasca experience that's going to be coming up really, really soon and I'm so excited. So yeah, I'm comfortable. I'm in my chair. I felt like this was perfect to sit with you guys. And today's subscriber of the day is Natalie Tibbs. Thank you so much for being part of this family. I love you guys so much. Let's get into sharing the story. Um, recently, I've been feeling more called to work with the medicine. The last time I had a shroom experience was actually the one that I shared with you guys back last year in November. And I will link it here for you if you missed that experience and you want to learn more about it. Um, and it was so amazing. It, I sat down, it was actually a space of rebirth. It was my birthday weekend and that was a gift for me to connect. And I got so many ancestral downloads, so many blessings, but this one was very different. It wasn't what I expected. It was nothing like I expected at all, but it was everything I needed at the time. And it clarified a lot of stuff that I'm going to share with you guys and get personal with you guys. Like I said, get some snacks, get comfortable because this is going to be an interesting video. Um, so all this to say is that it was the Aquarius full moon and um, during this Aquarius full moon that just recently passed, I just felt this calling. It's been over six months. I needed to sit with the medicine. She go, why not? So I actually worked with the um, amazing, I'm not going to say the word because of YouTube, but P-I-V, if you know what I mean. Um, and it is a type of strand that works specifically. It's deep. It's not something that is meant from what I've learned for people who are um, in the space of just starting with plant medicine. I have sat, again, I've, I've microdosed. If you guys want me to video on a Q&A on how I microdose and what that looks like, let me know down below with a little mushroom emoji. Um, but basically, I this is my second time sitting in full dose. Um, I took about, I want to say three and a half grams. I took the full three and a half grams, which because of the type of strand, it's actually double the amount. So this is what I'm taking. So basically I took a heroic dose and because I am more, you know, each medicine is different, always hold space for me personally. And just in the way that I hold space in different medicines that I've teached and do mentoring. And if you are interested in learning more about plant medicines, you want to work with plant medicines, I do do that with my mentoring as well. So you can look at that information down below and apply. Just to say is that, you know, it depends on each person and the medicine. So I felt called 3.5. It was us deciding to go camping. I was camping at the time and I decided to go camping. It was two days. And I planned out that I wouldn't do it the first day because we just got back and I was like, I'm not going to do it the first day because I'm going to be exhausted and I don't want me to not be fully energetic so I can be fully conscious and aware of my breath, of my intention and everything. So I felt like the second day was good. You know what I mean? And we got there the Sunday. So basically Monday was the day that I decided. And this is basically three days after the full moon. So all this to say this happens. I sit down and it's probably around one o'clock and we are at the beach camping and it was super fun. I'm just enjoying the sun, the nature, and I'm like, you know what? I feel called to hold my attention here and we're by the water and I'm really big with the water element. I'm a Scorpio, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna hold space for this. I decide to take my shrooms here. And my intention for this ceremony was a few things. The first thing was, to release the fear of upgrading in my ascension of a quantum leap, which essentially I will translate that for you. But basically it means is to release some old parts of me in my business, 
in my personal life, in my worthiness, um, really around abundance and money that I wanted to release because I'm going through these huge up levels right now. And a lot of the things that you guys don't see, like I'm, I'm advancing my gifts, I'm doing a lot of deeper work with schematic arts and learning and being a student while being a teacher. I think it's important as you're a space holder, a lot of people don't know you end up needing to work on you. It shows more of your light while you hold space for other people. It's like people mirror things in you. That's why they're, they, their soul chose to work with you, right? You both are growing through that experience. So I wanted to release that. The second thing is I wanted to release this fear because I am investing in myself and working with a very, very well-known and spaced coach that um, you know, obviously it's an investment and I've invested a lot in myself. I think it's very important to invest. Um, and I think a lot of me and my healing is all about how do I give to people, but how do I also give to myself, right? So those are my main intentions away from all these old barriers of abundance, feeling like I cannot elevate and, you know, bring into that, you know, abundance into the materialistic human experience as well. And holding space of fear, releasing fear. And most importantly, my health, which I'll go into a deeper with you guys, which was just so interesting as things fell through in the whole th process. So I'm sitting there, what feels like 10 minutes, I'm laying down and all of a sudden it hits me, like literally hits me in 20 minutes. There's no warning, there's no whatever. It's just like, bam, here we are. We're having the experience. Get ready, Shika. The trees start to move. I feel this like kind of sense of connection. The flowers are more vibrant. The waters is just, it feels like it's, it's moving towards me. And then I knew that in that space, the vibrancy of the colors, the, the, the connection with nature, my breath became more apparent. Everything came through. This is when things got interesting. So I was laying down on the sand like this, on my, on my face, or like just laying down my back, or on my stomach, sorry. And it's almost like the more I laid down, the bottom part was like the underworld. It was like the shadow self. It was like the, the parts of me that I said that I had intention for, but why I was not allowing myself to expand deeper. And then the trees and the flowers was a representation of this now and like the beauty of life. And it's interesting because, you know, what the mushrooms, the medicine of the mushrooms do is they reconnect your brain in a cognitive way where they interconnect different perspectives of life. That is why mushrooms are so powerful is because it helps people with depression. It helps people with anxiety. It allows you to reroute your mind to see different perspective in life, life in light, you know, and there's so much inter information on a spiritual level that these mushrooms have. They can allow us to hold space for manifestations, which I shared a little bit more about my intentions deeper, but I wanted to manifest a great coach. I wanted to manifest um, the ability to make X amount, you know, in my healing business. I wanted to manifest um, the ability to hold space for, you know, my dream cottage that I want to hold in the next two years. There were all these things that I was like writing down and I was scripting essentially, even after writing these intentions. Like what did that look like for me? But spirit for the first time out of all of my stream experiences, they were playing. They're like, Shika, you want it? You gotta work for it. So every time I would lay down, I would see all this darkness of my shadow. You know, the times where I went through my trauma, me in a corner, like just wrapping myself cold and in fear. And I felt this shiver in my body, feeling this kind of like intensity in my blood. And I just sat there and I was trying to pick up my head to look at the sun, but spirit was like, no, 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 we need to let you see this. We need to let you see where you were and how parts of what you were, you're still holding on to it. You know what I mean? This is not where you were. This is your story, but it's not like the never ending. Like I share that with that card that comes up a lot, like the never ending story. It's not this, like you're, you, this is the part of you that you now have to shed from that story. And that is why when we're in a spiritual journey, things will come up at different times. We're like, I thought I healed this already. It's not that you didn't heal it. It just means that you're at a point of your healing journey that you're ready to heal this part of your story. You're ready to see a different perspective of your story. And that's what makes it so powerful when you're into those deep realms of plant medicine and working with shrooms, they're able to fully allow you and take you into this journey. Think about it, like Cybersyn is like literally the interconnection of earth, the underworld of how trees get their nutrients. It's how they learn and they talk to each other. Like that is huge. And there is information beyond our soul that is ever since the earth's birth. 
you know, and even beyond that, some would say. So there's just so much ancestral soul print in the mushrooms that when they're into your DNA, it connects you to a collective consciousness that is beyond your body. It's amazing. So as I finally lift up, Spirit was kind of like, okay, time to give her a little bit of a breather. I'm enjoying this tree. And this tree was here and I just felt this connection. It was like my heart opened a layer. It felt like the, the tree was breathing for me and I heard Spirit say, come my child, come, come with me. Let me guide you into your power. Let me guide you and show you what you're meant to be here. And the shroom is kind of speaking through here and I was just feeling and embracing. I'm like, where are you guiding me to? We're, we're, we're gonna guide you, but you gotta trust. And I was like, okay, I, I trust you, it's all good. And at this point, this is the most important part of my whole experience. At the time, I was with my partner at the, at the beach and they were like, hey, do you want to go to the campsite and rest? Because I was looking a little tired and I was like, you know what? I need some more water. Let me do that. It was like that was when I knew how strong and how powerful this room experience was going to be. I got up and I was like, well, OK, so everything is just like it's a vibe. It's an energy. I felt the density of the energy living in me. And the crazy part about this specific thing that I'm about to share with you is it just so happened that there were lots of kids on the beach, more kids than parents. And I got anxiety. And if you don't know my story, I was bullied for the first few years of my childhood. And it's crazy because now as a space holder, I felt this huge connection of how healing kids can be. But there was even a point in my healing journey where I didn't even want kids because of how traumatic, and I'm sharing this, this is the first time I'm saying it out loud, how traumatic my bullying was as a kid that I didn't feel that I was worthy to be a mother, I was worthy to bring in a child, that I even wanted a child, that I liked children because I knew the energy that happened through their body pains from their parents and how they were putting it on me because of how different, how vibrant I was as an energetic being. I was this light, beaming light, like you would come in my bright eyes, I was always so sweet, but there was, it happened that kids were just always nitpicking on the things that, you know, was different about me. And I just felt like these things were wrong, but realistically it was because I was allowing them to come into their vulnerability and they didn't like that, so they attacked me in that space. I can now say that as an adult, as a person who's been healing, but at the time I couldn't, right? So I start walking and I'm just overwhelmed. Like I'm literally about to break down. We're walking across to the beach that we have to get through to the camping site. And my partner's holding me, he's like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm good. But I just felt, and then I made this eye connection with this kid. And for some reason, this kid looked so similar to the same kid that used to call me Butterfly. Apparently, he had a huge crush on me and he used to call me Butterfly all the time. And I absolutely hated it. I don't know why, I disliked it. I was like, why are you calling me Butterfly? That's, that's not my name, my name is Shika. Like, why are you calling me Butterfly? And ironically enough, butterflies are one of the most biggest spirit animals for me. They come to my garden. Um, this is how I connect with my great grandmother. This is when I had a huge transformation when I was called to be in this space. And I have these pictures that I'm so excited. I'm getting actually a piece that I'm working on right now with another artist that is inspired from this transformational moment in Colombia with butterflies. So it's just like this craziness that comes through with, with everything that how, how, the, the shrooms and the mushroom taught me like, there's a story here, there's a lineage here, there's a, there's a connection with every moment that we breathe, everything that we do, we say, we absorb is energy. And that's why it's such a huge impact when we're seeing certain TV, we're around certain people, like energy management is so important. And that was another lesson that I learned there. Learning that I, my fear for kids, my fear for, for that energy of playfulness that came from and just how did I not want to play? How did I not want to connect to the inner kid? Because I was so scared of the bullying that happened and the trauma and I was avoiding it my whole life. So I just worked a lot. I just like, you know, ended up dating people. I, I wasn't in that space. So it's like, Shika, it's time for you to, you know, understand what you avoided in the past and where you're at now. So we finally go to the campsite and I just like decide we're going to be my, we're going to sit and, you know, do a cribbage game. And if you know what cribbage is, let me know down below uh, with a little like green heart emoji. But I love cribbage. If you don't know, it's my favorite thing to do. I love playing it. It is so much fun. I'm very competitive when it comes to cribbage. 
So if you ever meet me, let's play some cribbage. Um, so we're playing it, I'm playing with my partner, and all of a sudden, I feel, because we're in the trees, I feel like around me changes into Africa. What? And this is interesting because throughout my experience of healing, I've connected with Egypt, Amazon, South America, a lot of areas of that, but Africa comes in. And it was us, it felt like us in a plantation energetically, and my partner is a different ethnicity than me. Um, they're Caucasian, I'm black, right? So we're sitting here, and then it was like this fear came up, this fear of like judgment, this fear of like, how will you see me? How will you hold space for me? And I got angry. And then I got competitive, but then spirit showed me this like spirit that I've been connected with from a past life of this very mischievous man who was Caucasian and didn't see um, his like privilege as something that was good. And it was almost like now in my lifetime, you know, whenever this the souls come back to this life, it's like we're going to teach you how it is to be different. We're gonna teach you how to release that. So I understood the karmic debt of like the pain. And I do believe that every single one of us are one one nation, one, one culture. Yes, you might seem like you look like someone else and there is that history of it based on the pains and having those, you know, organizations, I'm not gonna say it out loud, but just like organizations in society that have created stigmatization for people to be separated right but in nature of our true essence we're not meant to be separated we're meant to be collectively together that's where power is in the people right so i was sitting there and i started working and then all of a sudden i felt compassion for him i felt compassion for the past year and a half and all the things that have been happening for a lot of the aboriginals a lot of the um, people of color community, just all the truths that have been coming and shedding because the old systems don't matter. And this anger just released and turned into bliss and love. The trees swayed in the background and I felt this essence of love and just inspiration for nature and gratitude for the history that we've experienced as a nation to allow us to come together because without that pain, not saying pain is right, but without that conscious awareness of what these pains have done to us, such as the bullying I experienced, such as the experience of being seen as a person, as a being and fully being seen, and just understanding all of the shadow experiences I've had and trauma since again till this lifetime that has created me as a soul. And it created this beautiful day, a hot day, and it turned from us being separated to us being in this love and showing that the union of our love is meant for us to teach one another in different ways that my partner is meant to open my heart and i'm meant to get that person uncomfortable and to speak about things that maybe they aren't used to that my past life was so used to holding space for and to hold this plane of just unconditional love because again the only frequency that matters in this space is love nothing else Love is everything. Every other emotion we have is a body pain. It doesn't actually hold space for us. If you ever think of any emotion, just know it is something that is suppressing from love, right? So we're working, the more you can step into your heart, and that's what the shrooms taught me. It reminded me your heart's everything, right? And it was interesting because I'm playing cribbage and I couldn't even count properly because then, and that was a huge part too, I couldn't count the numbers properly. My mouth was not counting properly. And the reason why spirit and the shrooms taught me that is because a lot of my childhood, I felt like I wasn't smart enough. Um, they diagnosed me with ADHD, which it's so interesting because Aaron Dowdy talks about it on YouTube. If you check out his YouTube channel, it's really great. And I just connect with it because my mom was like, we are not defining you by your ADHD. You do not like, this is just what's, this is what the universe and this is what society has to separate humans. Again, separation, race was one part, then it's mental smartness and what is accepted in universe in, in the space, right? In society. So there's all this judgment, judgment, judgment. Like, where is it coming? Here, shrooms are just like, here, here's all the judgment that you've lived in your life, you know? And we're gonna just completely abolish it. We're, we're done with this. We're done with living in this space of, hey, I'm not good enough. Hey, I need to be judged. Hey, like, why are you, look at how smart I am. Hey, like, you know, I need to fight for, for this space of me being, being seen. Stop thinking about what people think. 
that is the fear of you shifting to a new vibration, a new quantum leap. And I was like, okay, I understand where you're coming from, Spirit. So as I counted, I was like, you know what? I'm seeing my partner take care of me in so many ways to make me feel comfortable, to um, remove my insecurities and, my, and, and really allow me to be vulnerable in this space, accepting all parts of me. And it's been the most healthiest relationship I've ever had in my life. I'm so grateful for it. Maybe I'm getting personal here, but I'm just sharing with you guys in vaguely, like it's, I'm, it's the most, it is the healthiest relationship I've ever had in my life. And it is the most rewarding relationship, most shifting relationship I've ever had. And I can't stress when you get to that point, you know, you just know. Um, and that was that all. I just saw my partner in full essence of their energy and it was just so beautiful. The differences didn't matter. The, the things people said, I wasn't smart enough. I wasn't, I wasn't gonna go to university. I wasn't gonna graduate. I did all these things because my mom, she pushed me. She was like, Sheikah, we're not letting you be defined by this. Honey, no, we're not doing that. Don't allow yourself to be defined by anyone who has told you that you aren't able to be successful. You were brought into this world for a deeper soul purpose. Why in the world are you letting other people decide that for you? You know, you know the best for you. And sometimes we are taught into, if you walk, read the book, The Four Agreements, I would highly suggest it, talks about how kids are brought into this world. And like, we have these agreements that we didn't actually agree on. Shrooms talk about that too. So anyways, I feel really tired, overwhelmed. I'm like, I'm gonna go lay down. <laughs> I laid down there until 9 p.m. I went into the tent, I laid down, and all of a sudden the tent turned into the Amazon. If you guys don't know, I have a deep connection with the Amazon, specifically the rainforest. It is a place that I feel at home. It is a place that I know my journey, my soul is meant to be here. And what the shrooms did here is it turned my green tent into the forest, to the greenery. And I was laying my face on the soil of the earth of Pachamama. And I was laying there and I was just like, I can't do this anymore. I need to go into my tent. And spirit whispered to me and said, this sounds familiar. When have you told yourself you had to hide? When have you told yourself you had to avoid something because you were scared? I avoided, you know, reporting after my trauma that happened. I avoided confronting with family members because of their anger and their ways of manipulating my mindset. I avoided to speak up for my truth when I felt bullied when I felt like I wasn't seen, heard, or appreciated, or respected, and I was being treated unfairly. I avoided the times where I was in a relationship with someone and they weren't willing to commit with me because they didn't see my worthiness and I allowed them to just do whatever they want. I avoided the times where I talked about, you know, understanding this is my worth in my job, in my business, in my healing. Yes, it's an energetic exchange, but sometimes you need to understand that there's leaps here. I avoided the shames and the trauma that experiences that came. I understood that that was the pain that I went through, but did I actually heal it? Have you actually healed the trauma that you've gone through? Have you actually healed that breakup? Have you actually healed the relationship with your parents? Or did you allow yourself to be absorbed by something that is a distraction or perhaps allowed yourself to just meditate and say, Hey, I'm connecting. I'm with spirit. I'm aligned. I'm doing my routine. How do you actually feel though? And that's what shrooms does. It takes everything that you already know and it makes you intensify that feeling 10 times, a hundred times more. And that's why the shroom experience was one of the most powerful experiences. It told me everything I already knew and it intensified it. And this brings me to my next step. I laid there and as I took the energy I could, I made myself feel like a baby again as I was sucking my thumb. And all of a sudden I just felt breathe and I started to breathe and it felt like every breath I took, I felt every pain that I experienced in my body from judgment, from feeling unseen, from feeling self-doubt, from feeling not smart, by feeling all these things that were coming through that I've been working on the past four months with my shaman. And it was like, whoa, this is what I was experiencing in the past. It was a past experience. I was going into the under space, the underworld in this place. It was deep. I started to proceed to breathe with the shrooms as it intensified with breathing stomach heart release, stomach heart release, which I go into my breath work. And if again, if you're interested in working with me, this is all this medicine I work in. You don't need to do a shroom experience to have it. If you are connected because you're watching this video, 
to have a shroom experience it's amazing but we have dmt we have those essences in our body and i teach people how to access that consciousness in a deeper way without even plant medicines and then i add the medicines in there if needed and it even brings a deeper knowing of our soul powerful stuff it's not normal stuff that i teach that is why i meant in the space i don't i don't do normal stuff I'm not meant to, to, to kind of do the cookie cutter healing. That's why I share these stories with you guys on YouTube is because I share it out of my heart. I share it out of pouring from it. And I share it when I meant to and I felt like I was meant to share this story. So I'm breathing and all of a sudden the lights, the colors, the, the geometry comes in. I go through the chakras all the way from my root. It turns red, it turns orange, it turns yellow, it turns green, it turns blue, it turns purple, it turns white my whole body is feeling this energy and essence of like going through the body I'm like whoa what is this and then bam, it hits me it hits me like a rock <laughs> in the best way possible spirit says chica why are you hiding from things why are you fearful why are you sabotaging yourself you know that we have everything here for you why are you sabotaging yourself you should know right but it's okay and it held me in the space and I breathed and I breathed and then I started to cry because I felt the conscious love of Lady Madeline. I felt the deepest love and I'm a spiritual person for those of you guys asking me what is my beliefs. I connect with all different types of gods, goddesses, beings. I don't have a certain denomination. That is just me and where I'm at. Everyone's different and I work with various people, different beliefs that is my space it's supposed to be neutral but i think one of the biggest things i connected here was with christ consciousness which was really intense it was like this depth that the the shrooms the mushrooms brought me to and this experience was like whoa it, it my heart exploded my throat chakra opened up my sacral created this womb portal which was beautiful and out came the goddess of shika no goddess of Imat, not goddess of any other person, goddess of Sheikah, not goddess of Kali, goddess of Sheikah. It was a rebirthing that I came from that earth. And as I scratched through the earth, I came out as this goddess of divine. And you know what it showed me? It showed me Sheikah, this is what fear is blocking. Fear is blocking all this power. Are you ready to honor it? And I started to recite all of the things I wanted to manifest. A coach with the following qualities, a certain way that I wanted to hold space, how I wanted to picture everything. And all these things today are happening, guys. After I got back, I ended up interviewing two coaches that I wanted to hire, which is a big thing I always suggest you guys doing. Whenever you're looking for a mentor, please do your research. Please like make sure you call in the the, state, the the people that are aligned with you i even tell people that when i work with them when they apply to my mentorship it has to align sorry the camera ended there <laughs> what is the way that you want people to support you what is the way that you want to be seen okay if you guys want me to do a video on how to pick a right mentor for spirituality let me know down below with a rainbow emoji but i will tell you guys in short you are interviewing them as much as they are interviewing you that's how I see it. Because you need to allow yourself to be open, to be comfortable, to work with this person. If you're not comfortable, there is no way that this person's gonna be able to help you because you're gonna be so off guard and you're not gonna be able to be in a vulnerable space, right? So this is why I do these chats with people before I even, like you don't just sign up for my mentoring program. Like you have to apply because of that space, right? Same thing. And that's what the shrooms taught me. It was like, she could like, you are initiating through the shroom experience yes it's deep i can't move my body i'm feeling all of this energy oh and i didn't even tell you guys the best part then in the middle of it after that breath work i felt this huge tree trunk huge tree trunk it was a dark tree trunk coming from the back of my my back right here and one in my upper stomach and if you guys don't know the past few months i have been really um, healing my stomach lately and there's been a lot of things in the back end that I've been doing through natural medicines and everything um, and you know I'm healing that's the best way of explaining it like I've healed so much I'm shitting so much it's it's been a beautiful experience and spirit told me my intuition already told me before I even went into this intention but spirit told me through the shroom experience through my trip that there was that where the areas of my body i am meant to to really heal 
and I was already doing a lot of wound work so I knew that and I literally went to the back of my back I'm not kidding you and I pulled and ripped out that trunk out of my back it felt like I was like ripping it out and that's where I got to the most powerful feeling I've ever felt it felt like someone took out like a sliver a huge sliver of pin in the back of my back and I can move again and then I proceeded to roll back on my back came into my stomach and started to massage in the area and it was almost like I was getting surgery on my solar plexus we're gonna take out all these limiting beliefs we're gonna take out the self lack of self-confidence we're gonna go into this other higher vibration and I felt called to breathe, so I continued to breathe in my solar plexus, activating it through jungle juice breath, fire breath, which is all through the mouth. I was just like, <laughs> like releasing. And all of this fire energy coming out, and I was just feeling like I am power. I am, I am prana. I am energy. I am light force energy. This is coming out. This is my power. I'm talking to you guys, and I'm on, I'm on fire speaking about it. It was so deep. <laughs> And I actually laid there for the whole night. I meant to go see the sunset. I didn't even have time for it because the energy was so potent and I was stuck on my mat. And it happens to people where you can't move. And again, it, it was so intense. It was to the point that my partner brought me to the bathroom <laughs> because it was just that deep. Um, and it's important to have a sitter when you go through these experiences. I think it's important, especially if it's your first time. Um, you know, and I think it's big. It makes me feel comfortable is just to have that space and yeah It was just so powerful and ironically enough I ended up going camping with my sisters and it was such a beautiful experience The medicine continued to come into messages. I saw shrew little mushrooms all on our hike while we were camping um, I think we saw at least a hundred mushrooms different colors different vibrancies growing everywhere and um, that really was a great time for me to integrate. And I think without having time to disconnect after, I just go back to living life and you know, acting like nothing's changed when a lot has changed, where my belief system has shifted, where my abundance has shifted on an energetic level, where I have got to connect with my inner child and say, hey, how are you doing? Like, how have you been healing from this? Where are you at with the healing of the traumas from your younger self? Um, it's a lot and I tell people this all the time when they do energy work or when you are realizing huge awakenings It's very important that you integrate because if you don't integrate those lessons, you can't shift um, I killed a part of myself that was like needed to be released like that ego death was true It was real like ego death is a thing ego death is literally a thing um, It it humbled me deeper with the mushrooms. It humbled me so deep it allowed me to listen, to be patient after coming back from the shroom experience. And it allowed me to most importantly, surrender. And when I mean surrender, I'm gonna just say this once, surrender means ultimately letting go completely, letting go of everything that you can. And that's what I did that week. I let go of my schedule. I The, the mushrooms were already working with me before I sat down and sat and took my 3.5 grams. It was already working in me and that's why it made it so powerful it took again everything i already knew and allowed me to feel it in the intensity and there was a specific song that i want to share with you guys that was on spotify because i was listening to music um during the time i actually made my own playlist which was phenomenal by the way like it was such a beautiful experience and this playlist is called madre Ad ayahuasca um it's a playlist actually that i follow sorry but the another playlist i watched that i actually listened to and the ones that happened was jesus to child which is like by george michael and that one just made my heart explode and felt all this emotion and really let me connect with the anger that my dad had and how he had to release it um and then we had the neutraleza most edit so that one was very powerful um, and then we had Centro Vintos, which is by Dimit, which is amazing. And that was just like exploded in my heart. Um, I just like, I, I literally hit the highest point of consciousness. It's beautiful. The last time I had that was my ayahuasca experience. And again, I feel like I am feeling called to sit with it. But like I mentioned to you guys before, I have a Cambo ceremony that I'm going to share with you guys. It's my first time sitting with Cambo. I've never felt called to sit with Cambo. Um, this shroom experience was amazing. It really gave me ego death. It manifested everything I wanted. It allowed me to see the inner child, to see the shadow self that I avoided in the past and how it's shaped me, to see my full truth and to connect with all of the things that I feared in life. Um, and how every time that we upgrade, you notice that 
the fears that we've that have been in our blueprint tend to be you know exploded or like really highlighted in those times and again like i mentioned spirit shows the same stories to allow you to see different perspectives and to heal certain parts of that story deeper so you can you know it's not like best way of explaining it is if you're a millionaire tomorrow that adjustment from going from zero to 100 is going to be a lot for a lot of people and that's why a lot of people break down when they just grow too quickly um, you know, we need to allow ourselves to respect the work that we're doing and know that it comes tenfold more to us back. You know, the money we invest tenfold more, the energy we work on our shadow self tenfold more. Like those things are very important to hold space for. Um, it was just so powerful. I can't stress enough. I'm trying to see if there's anything else that came up from my mushroom experience that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, oh, shame came up a lot. That was a big part um, when I was assaulted years ago. I haven't shared this with you guys, but um, my dad didn't really accept it very much. I didn't think he was as supportive as I wanted it to be. And um, I think because he didn't know how to, and that was really hard for me. It took me a while to hold that space. Um, and I just felt my heart open up and to feel this love for him because he had so much pain and didn't have a father figure and had a mother trying to be a mother but really didn't know how to share her heart. Um, so just really suppressed a lot of emotion and I feel like my journey as a healer, as a space holder, but also on my personal journey, I've seen the shift in him as well, which has been so, so crazy. You know, I, I really... So crazy, it's insane. I released so much shame that came up a lot. I, I wrote this down like right after my session, I'm just like going through all of this. One thing that came up that I wanted to share is that, like I said, I never really, it comes full circle with what I chatted with kids. Never wanted kids, never considered wanting them. And then it was like, you know, this earlier this year, I just one day woke up and said, hey, I, I wouldn't mind being mother if, if spirit wants me to be. And it was really interesting because I had that conversation with my partner about it. Like, how do you feel about being a parent? Like, what does that look like for you? And it was so deep because then I realized, wow, like I felt so much activity in my womb. It was so intense. About a week later, I had this dream of me giving birth and it's just showing that there's some seeds and new beginnings that are planting. That's the meaning of that. If you've ever had a dream of birth, it means that you're either fertile to actually create a new beginning or maybe you are hoping to hold space to be a kid or family or maybe that's something that your partner is coming into terms with. So I just felt like all of these things that come up had a lot to do with understanding where I was in my journey and it was just... It was just so shifting um, and I gave so much gratitude at the end as I came down from my trip, um, gratitude for spirit, gratitude for the medicine. The beautiful thing about these experiences is it doesn't just go away, like the medicine continues to work through you and it's beautiful. So that's my shroom experience. I am so grateful to sit, to chat with you guys, to talk about it. I wanna do more sit down videos. So if you can let me know in the comment section what other stories you want me to share. I'd love to share more plant medicine stories. Please like this video, it helps a lot with the channel. Also helps me know if you like it. Um, and don't forget to subscribe, put notification bell so you don't miss a video. And uh, yeah, I really hope that my experience has helped you if you've come and stumbled across this video about to enter an experience or maybe you're integrating and you're looking for other people throughout your awakening to connect with. Hello, welcome to the family. And uh, yeah, I'm just, it's this medicine is so powerful. I'm really grateful that we have beautiful mushrooms that are teaching us so much about ourselves, our soul print, and I'm really excited. It's really awesome. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for joining me and hanging out and sitting on your couch, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.